Hello there, this is Book Talk on Book Place, and I'm your host, Anthony Moirore. And as always, we get to have an author speak about his or her book that she has authored. And today we are having one great person who is a doctor, and she is Dr. Teresa Cody. Welcome to the show, Teresa. Well, thank you, Anthony. Thank you very much. Yes, and we are very glad to have you with us on our show. And we are talking about a book that you've authored. It's called You Healing You. Right. So for those who are watching, welcome to the show. This is what we are going to be talking about. But uh, before we even go to the book directly, we would let uh, Dr. Teresa tell us a bit about herself, and then we will go into the book later. Please continue. Okay, well, um, I am a dentist, and yes. I am married to a dentist. Whoa, And we have wonderful. a dental practice, <laughs> yes, yeah. uh -huh. in uh, Sugar Land, Texas, which is right outside of Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of years ago, I started a wellness center. Yeah. Right next to my uh, dental office. Okay. So we have two children, both grown, uh, one married. Yeah. And um, so we're kind of looking forward to grandchildren now. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. It's good when you have a family and you get to see your offspring and the offspring of your offspring. offspring. So that, that's very wonderful to hear that you are looking forward to a glad to some glad children, grandchildren very soon. Yeah, so that's the next phase of our life. But yeah. um, um, so we've been practicing dentistry for about 30 years. Okay. So luckily now I have some associates that are helping out and um, so I can be here. And <laughs> I don't have to be doing fillings. <laughs> ah, so right now you're talking to us from your wellness center? Uh, actually, uh, it's my home. <laughs> ah, is, oh, okay. Uh, your home, home is also beautiful. Uh, it looks uh, like a wellness center. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, wonderful. Uh, so I guess you are having people helping you in both areas, in the dentistry and uh, in the wellness center, then uh, that's why you're home right now. Right. Yes, I have a nurse on staff and an MD on staff. Okay. And um, um, so, yeah, no, I, I try to spread the joy. <laughs> ah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. So, oh, uh, um, oh, go ahead. As, yeah, when, when you talk about dentistry and you also talk about wellness and are they, are they linked together? I mean, when you're talking about wellness, I thought <laughs> that as you are a dentist, you are a dentist. And then there is another section of you that you tell us, uh, please tell us a bit more about the difference between the two. Okay, well, um, my husband and I built our practice uh, from the ground up, um, I mean, a new building in uh, 2011. And when we did that, we added two suites to it. So it was bigger than just the dental office. And we rented one of the suites uh, to a med spa mm -hmm. for about five years. Mm -hmm. And then she decided she didn't want to renew. Okay. So I was trying to rent the space out to another med spa. Yeah. And um, I fell into wellness kind of accidentally. Uh, so I was at my hairdresser's. Okay. Who I, I get to see her tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> she had um, a, a problem with her right hand okay. and she had trigger fingers yeah. and she couldn't, she couldn't make a fist. Okay. So she had gotten a steroid shot and she stopped hurting. Yeah. For four months. Mm -hmm. And then all the symptoms just came right back. Mm -hmm. So she, I was sitting in her chair. This is now three years ago. Yeah. Okay. And she said, I'm going to go get another steroid shot. Mm -hmm. 
I said, well, you can't do that. You, you can only get three steroid shots in one area for a lifetime. Ah. And she said, oh, really? I said, mm -hmm. no, it destroys everything in there. Uh -huh. So I said, why don't you come into the dental office and we'll put PRP, which is platelet rich plasma. Okay. Now, I don't even know why I said it. <laughs> we use platelet rich plasma in dentistry and we've used it for 30 years. Okay. So what it is, is you draw a little blood and you spin it in a centrifuge and you take the plasma portion mm -hmm. of the blood off, okay? okay. From mm -hmm. the red blood cells. Mm -hmm. And then we use that in dentistry for bone grafts. Ah. But, um, you know, I'd known about it for 30 years, but okay. you put it in there with a bone graft, you let it sit for three months and then you put an implant in. Okay. So you, so you get bone. Ah. If you didn't use the PRP, the platelet-rich plasma, the bone grafts um, didn't take as well. They ah. disappeared. So she actually said yes. <laughs> and she came into the office and we drew blood and spun it in the centrifuge and pulled off the plasma portion of her blood. Yeah. And I injected it into her hand. Mm -hmm. Now, I, luckily I took a picture right before I did it. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and she was showing how much of a fish she could make. It's in the book, the mm -hmm. pictures. And um, she asked me, so how long before I see anything? And I said, I don't know, six weeks. So the next day, I get a text from her and she sends me a picture and her finger and her thumb were touching. Mm, which wasn't happening before. No, it was, she could not touch. Okay. She was like this, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh my, what is going on here? So the next afternoon, so yeah. now it's two days later, mm -hmm. she texts me a picture of a closed fist. Mm. And I said, oh, this is a miracle. I have got to study this. So that's my beginning of my journey into platelet-rich plasma. Yeah. And that's what the book is about. Like all the uses that we've been able to figure out how to use it and, uh, in the last two years. Oh, that, that's quite interesting. And when you talk about the plasma that you took uh, from the blood that you drew from her, and uh, you tell us about the result that you ob observed as uh, soon as uh, within 24 hours and proceeding. What exactly happened? And uh, maybe we would get a clearer picture of what this plasma actually does in the body. Uh, okay. What exactly? What it does is it heals you. Mm -hmm. That's why the book is called You Healing You. Oh, we okay. use your own plasma yeah. to, um, to heal different areas of the body. Mm -hmm. So it turns out, after I started studying it more closely, there are at least, at least 15 called growth factors mm -hmm. in the plasma. Okay. For example, one attracts stem cells. Mm -hmm. Another one tells the stem cells what to become. Okay. So let's say you skin your knee. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It is the platelets and the plasma that come and stop the bleeding, mm -hmm. form the clot. Then they proceed to heal the area with, they make skin and collagen and blood vessels. And 10 days later, you look down and your knee is healed. Okay. Well, it was all the plasma, the platelets and the plasma. Okay. That's what did it. Yeah. So it is the way, the way that your body heals mm -hmm. all the time, everywhere. Uh, ah, okay. So all we're doing is we are concentrating those healing factors in an area. Ah, okay. Okay, so 
This is used regularly in horse medicine. Mm -hmm. In what? Horse medicine. Okay. Equine medicine for okay. horses. Yeah. It is, I live on um, four acres and my neighbor has horses. So I'm at the fence one day and I said, hey, I'm opening a wellness center yeah. and uh, we're going to use platelet rich plasma. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, I know all about it. And I said, you do? Yeah. She said, oh, yeah. Anytime the horses hurt themselves at all, that's the first thing they want to do. Okay. The vet wants to use their plasma because they have very, very long ligaments and tendons. Mm -hmm. And tendons and ligaments don't have a lot of blood flow. Mm -hmm. So very slow healing. Okay. So if you put the plasma right there where the where the injury is, mm -hmm. it heals up faster. Ah. Oh, that's <laughs> good. So is that's the concentration of the platelets that makes uh, the healing more faster than uh, it happens before. Right. Because it is going to happen. You'll yeah. heal up to some degree. Mm -hmm. And all we're doing is using your natural healing to increase the, the rate of healing and increase the amount of healing. Um, we've seen scars disappear. Yeah. We've seen, um, of course, tendons and ligaments heal up. Um, this is also used in um, sports, med professional sports. Okay. Yeah, because, because it's known they'll get back out on the field faster. Yeah, right, yeah, because yeah. you heal up faster. And they're worth a lot of money. <laughs> wow, no, that, that, that's we enlightening. <laughs> that's enlightening because uh, I'm, we are always hearing of uh, some sportsman has got uh, an injury and uh, within a short while they are back into play again i mean within just a few weeks a few months uh, the, the the man is up and running again and playing and i wonder i mean if i broke an arm or a, a leg it would take me some six months to be very active like they are and so what happened so now you are pouring out to us a secret that we didn't know before thank you that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this so is we also do. use it for aesthetic reasons okay have you heard of the vampire facial uh, no <laughs> wow well, dr runnels in alabama he coined the he he named it the vampire facial because mm -hmm. you use your own blood so we use it for aesthetic treatments because we want our skin to look better yeah <laughs> and decrease wrinkles and you know all those important things in life Ah, okay, okay. We are, we are getting that. We are getting that. So and now we are talking about steroids gone and uh, other medicines that were used before that we didn't know gone. And now we use our own blood to heal ourselves. And this is where you healing you comes in. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, yeah, because it's not always advisable to be taking... Uh, all those medicines that are out there in the, I mean, you never know the side effects they are going to give you. So when I hear that something uh, uh, from inside of me is going to be used to heal me, it's quite a good story. That's some quite good news. <laughs> I'll tell you the bad news and this is why you won't find oh. it everywhere. Uh, yeah, we are always uh, ready for the good news and the bad news, uh, but we choose, okay. Well, the bad news is, is most of our medicine is based on what insurance will pay for. Yeah. And insurance doesn't want to pay for this. Ah, why? What's the reason? You have to ask the insurance companies. <laughs> oh, so I have been dealing with insurance my entire adult life mm -hmm. in the dental office, and they play a lot of games. Okay. That's why they have the biggest buildings. Uh -huh. And they make the most money. Because mm. <laughs> they're not interested in your health. They're yeah. interested in their bottom line. That's why. <laughs> and I'm always hearing stories, not only about the insurance, but also 
the medicine, I mean, the pharmacists, uh, but I don't uh, want to go into it. Yeah. Now, this is not interesting to big pharma either because it, it, you have it in you. you. It's you healing you. You don't have to talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, they try to regulate um, the centrifuge and how you use a centrifuge. Okay. But Anthony, centrifuges have been around for many years, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. So they're having, uh, this is like if they, people say, is this FDA approved? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the federal drug agency, right? Yeah. Administration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um so no no food and drug administration okay so they regulate food and they regulate drugs, drugs yeah right this is yeah. your blood this so, is like saying do so, they regulate my spit so, no they so, can't regulate your spit they can't regulate your blood no, I get it has it. nothing to do with them it's not a food and it's okay. not a drug mm -hmm. now i get it uh Let's go back to the healing part a bit. In the case okay. of your friend, and also in the case of many other people, why is there some, I mean, the hand could not, uh, even given the time that uh, the person was ailing, why couldn't it uh, completely heal itself? I mean, is there some, uh, at some point that the normal platelets uh, stop uh, circulating or, I mean, no, but it I stopped don't think that there. was it. Um, she's a hairdresser, and she's been a hairdresser for many years. Okay. And there's repetitive motion, mm -hmm. and the body really doesn't like repetitive motion. Okay. So it's it's hard on it, and mm -hmm. um, so she was. It it seems like the platelets aren't working, but they are, but they're mm -hmm. not sufficient numbers to like override the everyday repetitive motion of it ah okay which was if she uh, stopped yeah. hairdressing if she stopped using that motion mm -hmm. her hand would probably get a little better okay but because she keeps but now we've only done it uh, we've done her hand twice in three years and it's it's staying and she's still working ah that's good. That's a good report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me ask a question just, just to, to know, because I've, hear, I've heard that there are um, other uh, body ailments, I mean, some ailments that uh, destroy the nerves and things like that, so that you don't get some quick healing on the wounds. And uh, so, you can uh, end up losing some parts of your limbs. Yes, uh -huh. diabetic, hmm? especially diabetic wounds. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Especially diabetic one. Is, is could this be a, a solution to that? They, they call it the diabetic foot or things like. Uh, I mean, is well, it, we have treated um, two diabetic wounds, yeah. and they have. Um, they were on their way to healing mm -hmm. when both patients uh, kind of, I, I published the book before we had finished, so we don't see the final um, wound. Um, but yes, and they went from black, it's called necrotic, it's dead skin, yes, to pink, mm -hmm. and then started healing. Okay. So yes. It was a very good solution for a diabetic wound because the other treatment that's done a lot is hyperbaric tanks. You mm -hmm. get, um, but um, that treatment was fifty thousand dollars for one foot. Okay. Well, it's five days a week, and you have to go into a tank, and you go under pressure, and a, a nurse has to go with you. So. Yeah. Um, this was a much easier way. We inject the area and um, it just healed up. Yeah, and I guess I don't have to sell my house to go and 
coming. Right. No. <laughs> We're very reasonable, to tell you the truth. Okay. That's wonderful. So at what point did you come up with the idea of writing a book? Well, after I saw all the miracles that happened mm -hmm. and all the healing and we've treated many things, Bell's palsy, um, plantar fasciitis, which okay. is the foot, um, knees, hips, rotator cuff in shoulders. Yeah. I, I decided I got to write a book because nobody knows about this. Mm -hmm. And it's right there. It's right inside you. You're mm -hmm. making it every day. <laughs> so that's when I came up with the idea that I'd write a book about and just share this information with whoever needs it. It's mm -hmm. I've been able to help a woman in um, Canada. Okay. She had Bell's palsy and um, there's a lot of practitioners who do the vampire facial, mm -hmm. which is that aesthetic treatment I was talking about. Yeah. So she found a practitioner who did the vampire uh, facial and they were able to um, treat her mm -hmm. as an aesthetic treatment. Okay. But because it, it improved the Bell's palsy. So... Like I talked to the practitioner and told her what I did. And uh, so that's when I got last, when I started, I started it before COVID and started writing. Okay. But um, during COVID, I got to finish it. <laughs> when was it published? It was published um, last September. Last September. And it's on Amazon. Right. Can we have a look at it? Do you have a copy there? So, so you know what? So is you healing you? Now that's the book to all those who are watching or, and listening. Uh, you healing you by Dr. Teresa Cody. Right. You did quite a good thing. You did. You did quite a good a good thing to write the book for us so that we can get to know that secret and apply it in our own life. I know it's. And it is truly a miracle. I've watched it heal up. Just, you know, I mean, it's a matter of diagnosis. Let's say you tear a tendon or you pop a ligament and it's detached from the bone. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not going to reattach, right? Yeah. yeah. You have to surgically go put it back. Mm -hmm. But using... Um, the PRP mm -hmm. post-surgery will help you heal faster. Okay. And they used to use it in surgeries. I've talked to a surgical nurse mm -hmm. and she said, oh yeah, we used to use it all the time and they don't, but because insurance won't pay for it, <laughs> they, I think they forget to offer. The hospital doesn't want them to do it because the patient has to pay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you could ask for it because it's not very difficult. Okay. It's very easy. Now, it's always good to have some options that uh, we end up deciding on uh, by ourselves what we are going to take. Now, if I'm going, given the option of taking some medicine, which uh, the insurance is able to cover for, and I think that it could have some side effects on my body, and I'm given an a, a more expensive option, which is going to be a solution from within myself. And I think I would better for, go for that one, which is from me into me. That's right. <laughs> that, you know, you, you can have a side effect. You cannot have a side effect. It's you. It's your body. And, you know, they use plasma. Um, let's say you had a car accident and a head injury. Mm -hmm. They use plasma to stop a brain bleed. Okay. Other people's plasma. Uh huh. Because the platelets are what its first job is to clot. Yes. So it stops the brain from bleeding. Mm -hmm. So we just taken it and now we don't use other people's um, PRP in you. We use yours. 
But you know, during COVID, if you think about it, did you hear about um, the antibody um, filled plasma that they were talking about treating COVID with? I didn't get to hear it. People that had COVID mm -hmm. donate their plasma mm -hmm. and they use that plasma in somebody who gets sick, giving them the antibodies. Mm -hmm. So that was going on um, last year. Yeah. So it isn't to say that you can't take somebody else's blood because we do it all the time. If you mm -hmm. need a blood transfusion. But in our office, we have no need. We just use your, you know, we take your blood, spin it, take it off and put it back in. Oh, okay. And if I may ask, and I know prices do adjust every now and then, but at this point, how much do you charge to uh, for the procedure? For example, uh, on your friend or someone that you did recently? Well, we um, we start at a very reasonable rate of uh, $200 for- Only? Yeah, for let's say a shoulder. Okay. And um, the aesthetic procedures are more than that, though. But yeah, I yeah. can imagine that. I can imagine that. But um, we start that low because I don't want to take insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I have I 20 employees in the dental office. And mm -hmm. right now, I don't want any more employees than I have to have. <laughs> And if you take insurance, it's very time consuming to process it. I have an, one person who processes dental insurance all day. Okay. Oh, yes, calling I, insurance companies, following up. I can imagine it's, that. It's a big job. It's and not so, an easy task, I know. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we are um, basically a cash practice. Okay. You know? Because we do vitamin infusions and we do, um, it's called like Myers cocktail and that's B vitamins and um, and we do also phosphatidylcholine and glutathione. Glutathione is the number one antioxidant that your body makes, mm -hmm. that your liver makes. And phosphatidylcholine is... Um, a major portion of your brain. Mm. <laughs> so we're trying, so uh, we do that. So, um, but mainly we do platelet rich plasma. Okay, and that's good. That. And I also guess that uh, in other parts of the world, it could be, be not uh, quite as expensive since it's uh, as simple as you explained it to us. And uh, this is why we encourage someone to get the book to get more in-depth knowledge about it before they make a decision go into going into it. What topics do you cover in your book so that we get to know what we are going to understand from the book? Well, I cover the background of what um, what's in the plasma, mm -hmm. like, and um, and then and then all the um, different patients we've treated and I uh, go through the story basically of how I started the wellness center and what um how that evolved because I truly did not plan to start another office <laughs> and I know some of the inventions that have happened in in the world were accidental some of the greatest inventions <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this could be your best apart from dentistry now yes. is uh, also your husband helping in the wellness uh, center now in the no he just comes in for vitamin infusion okay. I also have a masseuse that um that it rents from me and he gets massages and, and vitamins <laughs> and okay. prp of course of course okay. Okay. because he um his father was very bald. Yes. <laughs> so it is also very good for hair growth. Ah, really? And I think but mine is going away. So, <laughs> well, all of ours is going away. So um, we need to. I've, yeah. had, I've had more women for hair loss than men now. Yeah, you, you mean? Because we, we start to lose it right here. Yes. And, um, 
And then um, another patient, she's on a lot of medicine for other problems with okay. her hair. Mm -hmm. So um, she we she loves it because she texts me pictures all the time. Look at my hair. Mm -hmm. Look how much hair I have. <laughs> Now, talking on that and other medicines that other people are taking, we are well aware that uh, when someone is going through chemotherapy, they lose hair. Have you worked with any client who has been going through chemotherapy or something well, like that? Well, she, she takes, she's on chemotherapy. That's ah, why she oh, was, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. And, um, um, so she's very excited because, mm -hmm. you know, it may, it's kind of okay to be a bald guy but women don't want to be bald <laughs> i just saw her last week and she's like could you do this little bald spot right here <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh so this is great news for everyone and anyone who is experiencing some hair loss you can read well that's why i wrote the book because it, it's everything Mm -hmm. everything in your body this is the way your body heals yeah you know so um i uh i wanted people to know look this is available and you know it really does work because god made it man doesn't have anything to do with it you know yeah. we also um we also use uh use it we make eye drops oh, for okay. dry eyes mm -hmm. because i didn't realize it but dry eyes is a huge, huge problem. Mm -hmm. and very serious problem. Okay. And so we have a dry eye protocol that we use. And um, everyone who's used it has gotten better. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you just have to use it. You know, it kind of depends on the reason that you have dry eyes. Yeah. So we have some patients with Sjogren's which is an autoimmune dis disorder. And, you know, they're never really going to get over the mm -hmm. dry eye. Yeah. But um, this is such relief that one of my patients, she's like, oh, I forget to use it because my eyes don't even hurt anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, well, Got to keep using it. Okay. <laughs> we're, not, we're not changing the cause of the dry eyes. Yeah. We're just helping the eyes heal up. So... Whoa. I'm telling you, that, that's, that's, body part. <laughs> that, that's, that's <laughs> wonderful. It's a great realization that uh, actually, and it's good that you've mentioned that uh, when God created us, he created us all sufficient and he put everything to function in us to live to a full age. Only that uh, some diseases and some things come and destroy some body parts. And so if we take that which is healthy from us to make us well in the areas that are not healthy then i, I think that's logical i think that's uh, very enlightening <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so is uh, you healing you and uh, uh, thank you for telling us that uh, the doctor is not going to tell me to use prp so i'm gonna be the one to look for where it's gonna be done and how it's gonna be helpful to me so thank right. you very much and uh, to all those who are listening, this is a secret revealed to you. The <laughs> miracle of your body healing you mm -hmm. of blood. Uh, I mean, using plasma from your blood to make you heal you. And uh, mm -hmm. this is why we are advising you, please take the book. Take the book, go to Amazon and uh, search for you. Healing You by Dr. Teresa Cody. And buy it now. And buy it also for your friends and all for those who are ailing. There could be a solution for a problem that you've not imagined before. <laughs> so thank you very much. We really appreciate you, doctor. And uh, before we leave, you can uh, leave us with a few words uh, in summary, something that you'd like us to always remember from this show. Well, I just, I want everyone to know that you have a miracle inside of you mm -hmm. and it's coursing through your blood 
Yeah. And God made it. And so guess what? It works. Every time we try it, <laughs> it works. <laughs> and the worst that could happen is you don't heal at all. Yeah. That's the worst. Mm -hmm. And we have not seen that. We yeah. have seen not ever. We have seen you depending on the injury, but we have seen only people getting better. Maybe not mm -hmm. completely because you know we've damaged ourselves, yeah. or overworked it, or mm -hmm. but all we've seen is people getting better. Yeah, good. And how many years uh, have you been practicing this so far? Now it's just three. Three years. And we look mm -hmm. forward to experiencing more from you as the years oh, yes. continue to roll by. I'll have a second edition within another year because we're discovering more and more. Oh, okay. H have you been invited for the practice? Apart from now, you worked remotely to deal with the Canada issue, I guess. Have you been invited elsewhere apart from your area hosted? Uh, I mean, Texas, that is. Uh, not yet, but uh, maybe in the future. <laughs> okay, someone watching this video is going to follow you and is going to request you to come and do it uh, or come and give a speech or come and enlighten people somewhere where they are not aware of this miracle inside of us. So thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Yes, we really appreciate your presence on this show. And uh, thank you for letting out the secret to us. It's right here. Yes, you healing you. And uh, we wish you all success in all that you do. And we wish your clients, your patients in this case, quickest, quickest recovery in every area that they are healing. So thank you very much. And to the viewers, thank you, thank you also for watching. And uh, yes, let the miracle work in you. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.